Hey Capricorn, welcome to your forecast. Today we are going to go into the healing energy that we have entered here with the, uh, actually have we entered it? Let me look, what's today's date? I've lost time. Yes, we have already entered yesterday into this new balsamic moon phase, which is a healing phase. I talked about it in my Awaken Transcendence group on Facebook. You are welcome to join for free if you would like to. And I talked about some rituals you can do for that. Um, I'm going to be looking at that, going into the new moon, what you're manifesting, and beyond that. And then I'm going to look at the energy between you and your person, okay, and um, what's going on between you. Now, your person can be anyone that you're dealing with. It could be someone that you are carrying around energy from the past that you've been thinking about. It could be new energy coming towards you, okay? Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest. For those of you that are new, I am an intuitive, so much of what you hear will not be traditional. Take it as it resonates for you. Roles can always be reversed. Um, if I show a card and you think of an energy different than what I say, then go with what your gut is telling you. And for those of you that are returning, much love and thank you for joining me, okay? So I'm laughing here a second ago because... Um, oh, and the Awaken Transcendence group is on Facebook, okay? So you can go just to find me there. Um, I'm laughing because what came up <laughs> for the collective, all eyes on you, okay? Uh, universal energy th surges through and leads you to new and brilliant spaces. My Nature is divine. I am a spiritual being, okay? You are very much being watched, being looked at. Uh, spirit is there. You don't see it, right? You feel lost and alone for a lot of you, okay? That's the intention here, sorrow. But you see, there's an opening there to the universe and the universe is with you and watching you and guiding you. It is just that you have to uh, just have faith. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. All right. Let's see what's going on. The healing here for this balsamic moon phase. All right. A lot of people have been getting this one. So very interesting. Um, there's a very collective pull forward right now. Okay, what are you manifesting? And beyond. And I've been seeing that one a lot too. Very interesting energies. Okay, so. You are healing this... I almost feel like it's a struggle with your future, right? The unknown. Like you have to heal this fear that you have of what's coming. And um, everything where you are right now, I mean, the trees in this image, like they've been through the fall. They're going into this winter energy and there's nothing alive on them. Okay, so you're leaving behind, and what I really love is this white circle, okay, because I just came out of shamanic journey, and in my journey, there was this, this white space, and Mother Spider kept going through and coming back and through and coming back. So I finally followed Mother Spider, and when I turned around to come back later, the only thing that was on the other side in the past was skulls. Okay, and that was a reminder not only that everything in the past is already gone and done, but it was a reminder of everything you've done, right, to get to where you are today, everything that you've done leading to your future, and everything that was done by your ancestors before you to get to this moment in time. Okay, and for that wheel now to be spinning. 
And that's the healing of what you're going through here is to acknowledge that you can't go back. You can only go forward. Okay. Now what you're manifesting here. Okay. Is an emotional expression and a continuation. I feel like for some of you, right? Like you've opened up emotionally, you've opened up your heart dramatically. Okay. And with the medicine wheel, right? You're wanting to take that forward. Some of you may want a continuation of a past relationship. Okay. Or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, at the center is the rock with the medicine wheel image on it, but they're showing me that the, the image here almost feels like a maze. Okay. You're carrying a heavy burden of what do I do? And I do feel like that what you're manifesting here is almost like, it's like a release from this guarded energy, right? Like they're showing me, cause you've got so many wheels. Okay. The wheel, the wheel. And if you look on this, there's the wheel and the wheel. Oh, Oscar's crying. And, um, right. Like you want these, these, these emotional spaces to line up. All right. Hold on one second. I have to let him in. He's crying. Sorry. So you've got all these circles, right? And you want this emotional space and this emotional space to come into alignment. Okay. That's what you're trying to manifest. But, um, I'm almost feeling like, okay, you cannot make your circle smaller for this other energy. Okay. Um, you will feel trapped and you will not feel whole. All right. It will be a burden. This rock will be a burden for you. Now on the other side of this though, I feel like your ancestors are giving you wisdom. Okay. And it's also interesting, all the faces, because when I went through to the future, right? Like it was abstract. Like I would see all these faces and then I would see my lips. I would see all these faces and then I would see my lips. And I feel like um, there was a couple of messages there, right? Like, don't just give lip service. Like speak your truth, honor yourself. And know that your ancestors before you have gone through the processes they have gone through so that you have the ability to speak in your truth. Okay. So very massive energies here, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me about the future. Yeah. Some of you feel like, okay, your future is going to be bleak. Four of pentacles in reverse. Like you don't even feel like you're going to have anything to hold on to. Right. Three of pentacles. Um, perhaps you're struggling financially. And if you walk away from your situation, you feel like it gets worse. Like you're stepping backwards because we're going from the four to the three, right? Like you feel like the wheel is going backwards or you're trying to hang on to the past, right? So that it doesn't go forwards. Yeah. You're trying to pause everything. And, um, again, the wheel only turns forward, only turns forward, right? Nine of pentacles. Know that you'll keep working when you move forward and that messages and help and support will show up. Okay. So tell me more about this emotional expression that you desire. Yeah. You want somebody to put their guard down. Okay. Show a little bit of emotion. Yeah. 
reciprocate. Be loving, be nurturing, be expressive. Like you're waiting to hear this, feel this energy, okay? The continuum here, <laughs> you know that if you continue with this person, Six of Swords in reverse, it will not be an easy transition. Um, it may be rocky waters, right? Yeah, you may have to wear a mask some of the time and it will deplete some of your strength, okay? Yeah, it's been a very long road and you've come to the end of it, but there is a fear of moving beyond it. So tell me about the wisdom that's coming to you here from your ancestors. Okay, three of cups in reverse. I feel like they're saying you have not tapped into the support of the universe, right? Like, it's really interesting. Do you see those eyes, <laughs> right? The eyes. Okay, spirit is like, you are not tapping into the universal energy that is there for you. Yeah, okay. You're working through shadows. Eight of Pentacles, a lot of it has to do with money, which is coming up for a lot of people, okay? It's not just coming up for you. Um, it's a collective issue right now. But you are um, really judging your heart space and trying to block out the magic, okay, that you are. But... Spirit says, all you have to do is connect. We are here. You just have to connect, right? Six of Wands, Two of Cups. If you want success in your heart, connect, all right? So let's go ahead and see a little bit more here. So what's going on with you, Capricorn? Okay, what's going on with Capricorn? Thank you. What's going on with your person? Thank you. And what's in between? Ooh, there is a lot in between. And it wants to remain hidden for a minute, so we'll just leave it there. Okay, what's going on with you is, again, four of water. Here's the past, okay? Everything was love, everything was joy. Here's the current. Okay, where either you're kind of dealing with this aloneness with healing your inner child, or some of you might be dealing with uh, feeling like you are single parenting right now. Okay, now the person that you're dealing with here, three of water, definitely there could be a little bit of a separation because we've got the one swan on one side, two swans on the other. And maybe they're not swans, maybe they're ducks. Um, but beyond the swamp, there's blessings. Okay, so this person could really be stuck in the swamp right now of trying to, again, um, figure out like what side of this tree they want to be on. What side of this grounding do I want to be on? And um, until they get there, the blessings are just kind of pushed aside. Now, what's in between you here? Okay, there's the four of earth. There is a space where something is growing here that is protected. Okay. Craftsmen of water. And I feel like this person, the shadow keeps them from offering their love. Some days they want to offer it. Some days they don't. Okay. Six of earth and eight of earth. Okay. It is going through this process to the other side, right? And knowing that you can't go back and having patience with that. 
And that's really hard to have patience with all of that and to be grounded. But that's kind of where you are. So let's get some clarity on all of this. Okay. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Okay. Six of Swords. You don't want to go to the future because you want to go back to this idyllic past where everything was, you know, serene and calm. Three of Pentacles and the Hanged Woman. Okay. Yeah. Someone's wearing a mask. I do feel like it's you, right? Trying to be strong. Um trying to hide. There's a little bit of envy, I feel like here for um, what this other person might be dealing with. But you see all that blue, there's all this healing energy coming into your situation that you might not even be noticing. Okay, nine of pentacles. Yeah, four of cups until you get out of this funk of uh, wanting things to be a certain way that they cannot, right? Like you just are struggling because you are fighting against time. Like you can't win. Time moves forward here, right? Unless you move to the fourth dimension, you're 3D and time only moves in one direction here. Okay. So wanting someone to drop their guard, right? Six of wands. Okay. Four of pentacles. You want someone to drop their guard, open up emotionally, and you want fairness, okay, within the stability here. You really, really want that fairness. Okay, strength. Thank you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the fairness is something you are manifesting, okay, and it will create a new start for you, but you're in the forest and until you go through that light center and quit holding on to the past, you won't get there. Ten of Wands. Yeah, the magician. You see where you're going. For a lot of you, you're not going to really move through this until you move through the next moon cycle. Okay, you're going to have to go through another full moon to really... Uh, really understand and know what it is that you are manifesting. Um, you're really struggling through that right now because on the eight of pentacles here, we have the moon cycle for this future wisdom, right? Knight of wands. You might be able to finally see when you get through this next moon cycle that, yeah, there was a lot of passion and a lot of fire in the past, but you may be able to really look at your impulsivity a little bit differently because if you look at this right like this knight is holding the fire but the eight of pentacles like she's holding the candle looking into the fire okay it's almost as if she is really now dissecting okay that fire and with the devil here right eight of wands again there could be a lot of a lot of communication coming in that makes you want to rush back to the past, but that's when you need to get into that spiritual connection. Okay, the spiritual connection here, six of wands with that two of cups. Okay, yeah. It leads to new love. Okay, a new start. You have to do the shadow work with this new moon and walk the walk to get to whatever is waiting for you at this tree. All right. So, four of water, okay? We've got that king of swords. So, in your head, right, about where you are at, crossed by the chariot and the nine of pentacles, okay? Now, this nine of pentacles has left the pentacle on the tree, and is standing in this little lake, right? Doing the emotional work, okay? There is a protection, 
all right? There is something being created that you cannot see that is working here. Three of water on the other side. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Seven of wands, but six of pentacles. I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, okay, is in and out. And um, they come back in out of the loyalty and the sense of family and the sense of stability. And then they go back out when um, their cup has been filled and they feel better and then they move back out. And this is a continual process here for you, okay? It really is. So, okay, four of earth, because it keeps coming up, page of swords, okay? I feel like you're on the edge of seeing your gifts. And that space has been protected. But what you're dealing with here, okay, Craftsman of Water with the Queen of Swords, you need to, like, it's really interesting here because she's holding the book, getting the clarity. But here, like, the whole story is being written. Like, that's is very Akashic. Okay, and I do feel like you are meant to not being allowed, not allowing this to get up in your head, right? The past is written and it's time to write the new story. Six of Earth and Eight of Earth. Yeah, your struggle, the world in reverse. You are not wanting things to end, okay? But. Keeping your guard up, Nine of Wands, okay, keeps love from being offered here, Knight of Cups. Um, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay, with the Seven of Cups options. So there's options for you, but whether this is with the same person or not, it doesn't matter. You can't move forward if you don't allow yourself to let go of the past. The way that things were with you and this person cannot be the same. They keep showing me, okay, the shaman, okay, there's that craftsman of fire, there's that six of cups, okay, there's the lovers. Like, you are leading with your heart, okay? And thinking, if I just work harder, then, right, I will get that second chance, right? Because this is a divine connection. So I will get that second chance. But spirit wants you to think about why is it taking so long? There's the shadows are very defined in this card. All right, messenger of fire. Why is it taking so long, right? So that's something for you to really think about. What are you being shown here? All right. So what does the universe want to share? Okay, again, you are being given wisdom, right? There's this little crack in this cave in the, on the other side of the cave. It's all stars. It's the universe, okay? And it's a 10. It's a cycle completing. You are being given everything you need to see, okay? Nine of swords, though, you're overthinking it all. You're overthinking the idea of moving into the future.
Yeah, everything has already been written, okay? No matter how much you hang back, your truth has been written, the scribe. And we've got here, okay, it's a very interesting energy, okay, with the nine of pentacles. It's a transformation out of the cup of reclaiming your power, like the power of self-love is what I'm feeling here. Like she's wearing right here, she's got that pink rose, okay, which is that soul connection heart chakra. You do not have to release the love, but you have to release the hold. Okay. So let's go ahead and close it with an Oracle message. All right. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe because that is what brings this message to others. All right. And it is a give back to the channel. So you are going through a spiritual evolution. Okay. Set your heart free free from the past, right? Remember what I said, go through, go through to the future, right? It may be a little abstract on the other side, but it's meant to clear and activate, okay? And create this new sacred space for you. But you do not get this sacred space if you do not move forward, all right? So I hope this helped you, Capricorn. I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope to see you next time. Okay, bye.